Greetings, Graveyard Disciples, and welcome to the first episode of Scared Shortsless. Terrible name, I know. A new series where there's not many details enough to warrant a full episode, but the scares are good enough for a short video. Today we talk about a place that was part of me and my family's life for almost two decades. This is the P&D Quick Stop, a former mom and pop shop in Lisbon, New Hampshire, where you can buy gas, beer, gray food made by Jody, and just a friendly place to treat you like you were a friend rather than just a customer. But also from my experiences and others, maybe a few customers from the other side as well. When my family first opened the store, I did hear from some of the locals that the place was supposedly haunted by a former mechanic who died tragically when the store was a garage. The story goes that the mechanic was working on a car that was on a hydraulic lift when something went wrong with the lift and it failed, crashing down and crushing the poor mechanic who unfortunately lost his life. The story was tragic though it didn't stay on my mind for very long. You know, we had a store to take care of. But soon strange occurrences would start happening, such as products flying off the shelves, a muffin all of a sudden flung off the shelf right next to me when I was talking one day with enough force to send it straight down the aisle. Uh, the windows were sealed shut, so no draft, and the AC was at another section of the building, not even blowing in that direction. So what caused that muffin to be thrown so violently off the shelf? Another incident that happened to me was when I was out back and I saw this strange mist forming a few feet away from me. It actually looked like a sh the shape of a person. When I went to grab my cell phone out of my pocket to record it, I turned back and it was gone. Other employees of the P&D said they ha had paranormal experiences as well, especially when they thought they were alone. One employee told pretty much everyone this account of seeing the reflection of someone's legs and boots on the cooler windows. She thought this was strange, so she went to check, and when she turned the same corner, no one was there. She looked around the entire store, and the store only had one exit, which was in view everywhere in the store, so she should have been able to see anybody leave. She couldn't find anyone. When she was thinking that maybe she just thought that she saw someone, suddenly one of the cooler doors slammed shut on its own. Needless to say, the experience startled her. I asked a few of the older locals if the story of the mechanic is true, and even though some scoffed at me about the paranormal claims, it was confirmed that the mecha uh, mechanic story did, in fact, happen. Is he haunting his former workplace? The offer was always on the table for Neppy to investigate the P&D Quick Stop, but unfortunately, 2021 was its last year of operation before it was sold to Dewey's, a competitor across the street. It became Little Dewey's. Concerned by Aw, who owned the store, the owner of Dewey's were competitors who didn't really get along. Uh, I doubt anyone related to my aunt would be welcome to do a ghost hunt there anytime soon. However, I wonder if they're going to have the same experience as we did. Thank you for watching, and keep it scary.